Hey, what's going on, Internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. We're going to do a great slideshow tutorial today. So if you're showing off you know, your series of photos or even video and you have a ton of it and you really just want to share it at like a presentation or you have a client that's like, hey, I want to put this on our website to show the variety of products or whatever, we're going to do this right here inside of After Effects. So I'm going to go off of a basis of a video hive template like I've been doing recently. And of course, I'll link this in the description if you don't have time to create it. But this is essentially what we'll be doing from one picture over to a variety of pictures into one focus picture. Let's not waste any more time and let's get started. So over here I have my media and I'm going to bring in our first photo and you just drop it in your timeline and you might need to reposition whatever you're doing. I'm using a 1920 by 1080 sequence and whenever you have like your image or your video ready to go, what I suggest doing to it is always to pre-compose it. So grab this photo or video layer, whatever you're using, go up to layer, pre-compose and we can call it uh, placeholder one and move all attributes into new composition and click OK. And the reason why we do this is because it's going to take the size of the composition and if you need to change it out later you can easily just go into that composition and bring in a new video or image without a problem. So this will kind of keep the main composition unaffected while you change out your images. So you have your first image here you can put some text on it do whatever you have to do but let's talk about the zoom out effect right now. So so what we're going to do is create a null object, go up to layer, new, null object, and we're going to parent the placeholder one to the null object. And then we're going to hit S and keyboard for scale, and we can scale this down like this. So obviously now we have all this room here to add more images and to perfect what we're doing. So we'll add a keyframe for scale, we'll move this keyframe forward in time, maybe we'll set it to two seconds, and we'll start our first animation at one second, so we'll set this back up to 100%. So now you have our image, kind of zooms out like this. And of course, we'll make the last keyframe an easy ease keyframe by hitting F9 on our keyboard. All right. Okay, so what I want to do is place all my images in here, kind of create like a three by three row that we can do some awesome things with. So what we want to do is grab our placeholder, duplicate it, and you go up to edit, duplicate to do that. And we'll come over here to select it and we'll move it over to, we are touching our image here. So it's kind of like this and we're going to create this three by three row. And... We'll continue to do this, so we'll come over here, duplicate it again, and we'll move it over here. And if you have to, if you don't have enough room, make sure you're the last keyframe, and you might need to, you know, scale it in or out depending on how much room that you have. And it doesn't have to be perfect; it's okay. Anyway, when you have your first row done, duplicate it, duplicate all three of those layers, bring them to the top, and we'll go ahead and just drop this about right here, and then we'll duplicate them again. And now we'll bring these down. And now we have a three by three grid here with photos. Now this is all the same pictures and obviously doesn't look good. Now that we have ba this basically set up in here, the only issue with all this is that if we come in here and change the image, it's going to update the entire uh, composition. So you see here we brought in an image and obviously everything changes and that's not good. So what we need to do to fix that is we need to go to placeholder one, duplicate it, go over to another placeholder in here, which is, this is the middle placeholder and we're not going to touch that one. So we'll go here to placeholder one, Alt click the placeholder 2 up here in the project window and drag that on top of placeholder 1. So we go in here and we drag in a new image, scale this down. We go to place we go back to main. You can see that image is changed out. So from here we we'll, all we have to do is duplicate the placeholder inside the project window. So we have placeholder 3, alt click it, drag it on top of placeholder 1 and as you see we can continue to go through this and swap out the image. If I play through this real quick, you can see that we have our zoom out here to our other images and this looks really cool. And we have a few options here. We can kind of, you know, rotate these if we really wanted to. We can animate these individually. There's a lot we can do, but for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to continue to move forward here really quick. So what I want to do is I want to obviously zoom into another image. So what I'm going to do here just to save time, I'm going to duplicate all of our placeholders here, duplicate them, bring them to the top. And I'm going to just position them over all the way to the right here. So we're going to do this, and that should be good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hit U on keyboard for the null object. So we see that we have the scale here. We'll also hit P uh, so we can, no. So now what we'll do is we'll go to the null object, and we'll hit P on keyboard for position. I'll also bring up the scale so we see where those keyframes are. And right at this moment, I want to start sliding over to the right. So we'll go to like maybe four seconds almost and we will position keyframe this all the way back over to when this center image is back in the middle and then we'll add a keyframe for scale 
and we'll move forward to about five seconds and we can scale back into our image. Okay, and then if we start scaling in here, you see that we have a little bit of an issue. And that issue is that we're moving over to the left here and that's not good. We wanna move in back into the middle image. I'm gonna create another null object by going to layer, null object. And I wanna parent the null one to the null two. And then I'm gonna hit S for keyboard for scale, add a keyframe for it. And then I'm gonna move over to almost five seconds and we can scale back into our original shot here, which that's not what we want to do. We don't want to scale into our original shot, so we'll change this out, but we'll make the last, the first keyframe, we'll make the first keyframe an easy ease keyframe. So kind of we'll just scrub through this real quick and see what we have. So obviously we zoom out our first image, we scroll over to the next image with all these other images in here and we zoom into our last image. And of course I'll make the last keyframe an easy ease keyframe as well. And say we want to, obviously we want to change this image out and you might not want to be lazy like me and use the same images. So what we can do is just locate that shot there. So what I'm going to do to fix that, obviously just duplicate placeholder one and then I'll, I'll click that and place in placeholder 10 over that one, come into this one and obviously swap out the shot with whatever we want. Obviously that's been changed out and we're going to zoom into that and obviously we'll want to locate that placeholder there and put another image in there. All right, perfect, we zoom out and there we have it. And we zoom back in, fantastic. And we're able to kind of jump out and create this nice grid gallery, if you will, and create some awesome things. And of course, if you wanna swap out the photos over here, once again, you come over here, duplicate the placeholder in the project window, bring it into the composition over here, swap that out by holding Alt, and you can start swapping out your pictures. And then of course, make sure to turn on your motion blur Turn it on at the top and you should be able to have a nice motion blurred image here as it kind of swipes by and it should look really good. All right, and after a quick render, here's what we have. We have our zoom out of our photo, see our photo grid, and we move into another image. So this was just a very easy tutorial on how to create this nice three by three photo grid and be able to duplicate it and put other images or objects inside of those compositions. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and are able to apply it to your own work. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to drop a like on the video because it helps me out tremendously. Subscribe to the channel for more After Effects videos and please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of the video and always be creative.